I walked in because they said I, it was like, I needed to go into a meeting about my footage, like some footage meeting thing. And the camera was all set up with the laptop, the little hard drive thing, telling like they're all editing something. Next thing I know, I turned right, my whole, the whole wall of my boards, and I, no way, this is, they already got all these things all up on the wall, like I'm like already tripping, like dude, there's no way. Like. El Centro, California. Yep, born and raised, everything. Um, for like growing up here, I mean, it's what I'm used to, so I had to get used to it, you know, and it felt so normal. Kind of like anywhere you got your good and your bad. You know, and it, it kind of, for me, it, I don't know, it's hard, it, that's like always been some hard for me to explain how was it growing up here. It was mellow, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't hard, it's just, you got, there's ways to figure things out, you know, I don't know. But as a kid, it just, it was normal to me, it was like, it's my city, you know, it's where I'm from. This helps you. Earliest influence and the only influence, what got me on my board was my brother for sure. Like if it weren't for me seeing him skate, who knows, but like that definitely sealed it for me like as a, as a young one. Like on my fifth birthday, he got me my first skateboard. So growing up skating here for sure was way different, you know, it wasn't much. Most you had was flat spot wise. You'd have to really go out and look or, or make stuff out of nothing. that young you really don't know what's going on yet you're just living and, and doing the whatever comes to my you know I like this I want to do this and then as you got as you get older some people start older and they know already in their head like oh you can get sponsored by this oh you can get free stuff or you can get money and all this contest and but when I was doing it when I was little I was like I didn't know what it was I just loved that shit I just loved to skate saw my brother skate and I was like damn that shit's tight like I'm gonna cruise with them and it was a natural thing that I fell into you know at times I there was nothing going on and I was skating whatever I had skating any size that was given to me like when it feels like nothing's working something's working because it's not like it's not gonna be perfect all the time, so I kept telling myself. And when I got that first box, that really just like sent my whole like my mindset at different. Like I started to see shit different. It's where we grew up skating, buckling, flat ground. We had nothing. We had to make something of something, you know. Ten in the morning wouldn't leave till like ten. Well, till the lights turned off, pretty much. All day. But good times, good memories. Get it. This, this is where you get your flat ground on point. <laughs> just nothing, huh, Diego? Nothing. During the whole time, like the process from, from getting on from the beginning, being announced that I am on the team, and then from going pro after, it like fell into place so, so like, like it was all a dream, and now it's like right there. Like, I don't know, I trip out for like that shit. That shit's a trip. Like, I'll be tripping from now on, from here till like forever.
even though I have, you know, my name on a board and it's um, considered, you know, now at the pro level, like that don't mean it's time for me to chill out. I want to progress myself for me, you know, like I want to feel like, damn, like no matter where I'm at skating, name on a board, name not on a board. Like, I'm going to do it and always going to do it for like just because I know inside I, I was able to do that. I thought of it in my head and that's a trip. Like that feeling is never going to leave me. So I'm just going to keep stacking footy, traveling and just keep putting out more parts for myself and people who, who enjoy watching, you know, and, and who always support and have love for me, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh.